Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and today we are going to look at lookup tables. Uh, so lookup tables can be found in elements, other, and function blocks. And we'll just grab one from the uh, menu here. And uh, let's open it up, and we'll, we can change the number of rows that are in it, and we can basically put in some input values and some corresponding outputs. So whenever we get... Um, a one, we're going to output a two, and then a two, I'll put a three. With a lookup table, it's going to interpolate between the two of them. So if it 1.5 goes in, it, it'll it'll pull and and do two uh, uh, two point five. So it'll 1.5 would be between one and two, and we'll get between two and three on this side. So there's a, a linear extrapolation that that occurs. So uh, the next thing we need to do is name this. So we'll call this uh, lookup table, and we will save and hit save and now we're done so let's play around with it so uh we'll set up some voltage probes so we've got uh v out and this one is v in and then we'll give ourselves a triangle source down here and uh let's slow this down so let's go between one and three and so we should see a shift on the output here as well and uh, yeah, let's run this and see what happens. So we can see uh, V in and V out on the same graph, and we've got just a quick shift shift up. So let's play around a little bit and and maybe change this now. So this is now just going to be uh, two again, and we can see that and we can save as. We'll replace that and uh, we can run again. And now we see that something else happens when we run it. So V in and V out. And it looks like we've effectively doubled the switching speed here. Okay, so that's uh, playing with these uh, uh, lookup table. And let's maybe use it now uh, in a couple different applications. So I'm going to set up a couple uh, additional circuits and, and we'll see how we can use a lookup table in, uh, in circuit in simulation. Okay. Okay, so back uh, to this little circuit that I have, and what I'm going to do is we're going to set up a voltage controlled source that's going to be controlled by this lookup table file, and we're going to drive this lookup table with a time source. So the time source basically keeps track of, of time, and it's going to, at one millisecond, uh, up to basically up to two, two milliseconds, we'll be asking for 10 volts, and then three to, we'll ramp up to 20, and then ramp down to two with this little time source here. So let's run this guy and see what happens. There's the uh, simulation output. So we see that our blue line here is the output voltage and we see the corresponding shift in the current here as well. So we've used uh, the time source to drive the voltage source here uh, and then we get a corresponding sh shift here. So I'll also pull up a, another more interesting app location for the lookup table in another circuit, which I'll dr quickly draw up and then we can rejoin the video with, okay? Okay, so I've got another simulation set up here. This one right here is now a variable resistor that uses a lookup table uh, with a lookup table for the resistance. So if we run this simulation, we can see that the resistance is changing with time. So we're sensing the voltage across uh, our resistor, which is modeled by this current source over here. So we're monitoring the voltage and basically V divided by R equals I. So we're feed in the resistance from the lookup table, uh, which are these numbers here. And then we push that and change that to the current, which then comes back into the system here. So that, um, so this is another application of a lookup table uh, being used to model a uh, variable resistor or a resistor that changes with, uh, with time. Um, and further on, along that theme is if we look at this simulation along the bottom here, this is a constant power load for of 100 watts. And let's just change this time scale here, uh, 0.5. And I'll disable this top circuit now. So now with this constant power uh, load, if I run the simulation, we can uh, look at a couple things here once it's finished. So we can look at the uh, input voltage. And we can see that the input voltage is actually an offset uh, AC waveform. And then if we lay on to that the uh, current, we can see that it is also changing. And uh, what we should be seeing is a constant power of 100 watts. So we'll pull up the watts uh, measurement from the watts meter, and we can see 
that we're actually able to maintain that constant output power of 100 watts. And uh, obviously this is uh, being controlled by this uh, source. What we could do is just uh, set it up so that it's running from this lookup table. So if we hook up the uh, constant, uh, the, the, this lookup table for the power, we can drive this in here now. And if we pull up the outputs here um, after simulation, we can see that the current is changing. And we can see the product of uh, the voltage times the current is, uh, let's pull up the lookup table here, is giving us the uh, 10 watts the ramp to 20 watts and then 30 watts and then ramping till the end, uh, holding still at 30 watts all the way to the end. So this again, another application for that lookup table. And uh, obviously there's many other applications that one can use. Um, one does not have to use a time input. You know, you could be using, in the first instance, we used a voltage input. Uh, you could also use this to control all sorts of other things. Okay, thank you so much for watching. That's it for this tutorial video. Check back again for more videos.